Hi there, how are you? So good to see you. My name is Rachel and I am here at my house in Denver, Colorado, and I am ready. I am out of Derek's shirt and I am just waiting for the guys from the doll shop to get here. They'll be here any minute and we're going to get into my SUV and we have a little day trip planned. So we're gonna take you along so you can see a little bit what it's like to be out doll hunting, I guess you could say is what we're doing. We have an appointment and we are going to go get some dolls and we're gonna bring you along with us so you can kind of see what it's like. Now you might not actually see the dolls until they get back to our shop and we have a chance to get them ready, but it's interesting I think to just be along for the ride and see kind of what it's like to do what I do a day in the life of a doll person out here doing doll stuff. So if you're here for the ride, uh, then give me a comment below. Definitely share the video and thanks so much for being here. All right, are you ready? Oh, the guys are just pulling up. Here we go. Okay, the guys are here. We have just loaded into the car. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> and Eric just said it's adventure time and it, it is adventure time. This is, is this, is this different from our usual? Yeah, for sure. Yep. <laughs> Oh, as you can tell, they're just over the moon <laughs> excited. I can, they can barely contain it. Okay, well, they will have fun. I'll make sure of it. So are you guys ready? Let's go. Let's see. Did I play a blues festival down here at the Air Force Academy once? back up in there in those trees. That was awesome that day, man. You go way back in there. We need snacks, so we just stopped off. We're about two minutes from where we need to go and we have some snacks for later so that if it's a really long day, we can just keep working and we don't have to stop and leave. So I always like to be prepared for any case scenario. <laughs> can't hey. wait till, I can't wait till working all day consulting with the family and helping them with this estate sale but you guys this estate sale is so cool it opens on Thursday and Karen just said we have a party room do you want to see the party room and I said yes we want to see the party room so you have to see the party room okay I'm going to turn the camera around and you get to check it out this is the party room oh man so Karen, where did they, did they have parties in here? Yes, with their auto clubs. With their auto clubs. Vintage auto clubs. I can imagine in the heyday just how much fun they had in here. What are, what were some of their favorite things? Oh, well, we had, they had all kinds of toys. Um, we even had all modeled, all kinds of big uh, yeah. Tonka toys on the top. They had a whole bunch of the vodka yeah. and uh, booze. Cars. Vodka and booze cars. Okay, yeah, look, we're gonna. Which, uh, here's a couple of them right here. Look at the vodka and booze cars. So, so. J Jim Beam. Jim Beam and, and bottles went in. So you could put alcohol inside these. Did it come in yes. it? Okay, yeah, 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 yes. Alcohol, yes. Check out, check it out, everybody. So this is great. This sale is opening on Thursday of this week. I came out here to consult and to help the family and. There are some amazing, amazing things. I love these archival photos of all these old cars. We Can we take a look at the old cars? Sure. Yes. Look at the jukebox. This is wonderful. It takes 78 uh, radio, uh, records. It takes 78 records. I'd love to see that powered up and jiving around. Now I saw the I saw this earlier, but let's see. That's funny. Do you guys remember these? <laughs> these little funhouse distortion mirrors? Yeah. Those are great. Oh, and look at all the little hats. Oh, mannequins. Gotta have mannequins in a party room. Polly man dress on the left. It's a poly man dress on the left. Look at that beautiful dress. I love that dress. Did she make that dress? Yes. Oh, she made it for a solo. Oh my goodness. How great. I love 
love the Betty Boop memorabilia. There's a lot of really fun things here. Betty Boop is, Betty Boop is amazing. We love Betty Boop. Some classic cars. I wish I could buy some cars today, but now we're gonna look at the cars. Oh my gosh, Karen. This is amazing. 33 Cadillac. A 33 V12. Cadillac V12. Original. Original? Yes. Original paint? Uh, yes. The vinyl top was replaced. And I think he repainted the wheels, but they were the same color. A little bit of an engine work, but most of it is original. Yeah, I replaced the piston. Wow. It was broken. He what? replaced a piston. Yeah. A piston. Oh, a piston that was Okay. Well, that is a sight to see and absolutely incredible to look at. And then tell us about this one. That is, um, that, well, that's, that's, is this the, that's a 32 Cabriolet. 32 Cabriolet. Molly, uh, Molly Ford V8. And it, it's uh, been souped up. Comes with a, its original engine, but they put in a uh, larger motor. Now I sure wish I could buy this, because wouldn't this be the cutest little car for going around and making doll errands? Oh yeah, and it's got a rumble seat too. <laughs> and it has a rumble seat right there. Yeah. I could just put the I could put the dolls that I get right back in there and and yeah. hit the road. Yeah. Yes, Isn't that, fun? that is fun. That was a souped up one, so it's just it's not souped up. To oh, I can't imagine. I I don't even think I could get fifteen feet down the road. That what kind is, is this? Eight, the twenty twenty six. Twenty six. Chrysler. Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. Sports. Well, I don't know. It says sports coupe. Nineteen twenty six Chrysler sports coupe. Wood wheels. Look at these wood wheels. Okay, let's get down so you guys can see that. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, how wonderful. It's got a rumble seat. And on this oh. side, yeah, so it's got a rumble seat, and on this side is the, uh, uh, Oh, let's look at the rumble seat. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. Where should we go? I love this. Don't you guys just love being in a wonderful garage and seeing these beauties? Well... Let's see. Oh, look at that. Where is it? That's so handy right there. Right. Oh, there it is. And so somebody would sit in there? Yes. Wow. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I would. oh, look at that. Okay, so if I showed up and I said, hop in, we're going on an adventure, would you go? <laughs> If I showed up in this car, you'd have to. And that's where you put the golf clubs. That is so awesome. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. And this is a 38 businessman's coop or business woman's I guess if it's if it's these days but look at this this is by Chevy and I love it master deluxe you see the trunk. let's look at the trunk because this is where they carry all their stuff oh I love this trunk so th this is what we call a hatchback right it, it basically it was <laughs> the hatchback of that era the hatchback of this era I could use this for doll runs too oh just Get them on in there and tootle on down the road. Um, alas, I will not be buying any of these cars today, but they are wonderful to see. All right, Stanley's trying to Stanley's trying to get in so we can take a, a picture, but he's six two, so it's. Uh, did you get in? Okay, Eric had no problem. All right, now I'm gonna get in the back and then we're gonna take our picture. Oh, don't they look cute? Stanley getting out of it. Yep. There you go. Good job, Stan. Well, <laughs> it almost looks like a clown car, but it's just too. So, so this is a 68 Chrysler 300. 68, really? 
68. Man, I love the front end of that. It's a lot of my grandfather. And um, I learned to drive on this. This is the car I learned to drive in. No I got my driver's test with. <laughs> what a cool bomb to do that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, it was brand new when I got my driver's license. That's awesome. And because uh, he bought it in 67. All original. for lots and lots and lots of tools you gotta have if you got a bunch of cars you gotta have a great garage I have a lot of experience with general household items and collectibles. This isn't the type of inventory that I would buy for my shop, but I can definitely come through and make sure that the prices are not too low, not too high, and what would be appropriate for an estate sale. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be back, but there are some treasures for sure. I'm going to price all of these little tin toys. These are all really wonderful. They are in super condition and they are just really great. This would actually be super fun for the doll shop, except that I can't, I can't really have it there, but I forgot what they're called, but you turn it on and all, all of the, all of the instruments play at once. What are these called? Stanley will know. Well, we've been working all day and we have almost filled the car to the brim, but there is still some room. So we're going to get as much in here as we possibly can. And I've been madly pricing all the other things that you've seen, not all of them, but a lot of them. And we've been working hard. So it's been a good day so far. Okay, the job here is done. The SUV is filled and we are ready to hit the road. I say it's a pretty darn good day. Thanks, guys. Now we're loaded back in the car and driving home. This rock you're going to see right up here is called Castle Rock, and it is the namesake of Castle Rock, Colorado, which is the town right outside of Colorado Springs.
Well, we have filled the car and we stopped for some Diet Coke and regular Coke and some fries and some fried zucchini, but the zucchini takes a little bit longer to make. We're at Carl's Jr. And so now we're sitting here waiting for the zucchini. what do you think today, guys? Good, good day? Yeah, it's been fun. Been fun, yeah. Well, we just arrived back. I'm gonna let the guys uh, go, go ahead on and then we're gonna unload everything tomorrow. So the, the car is gonna go safely in my garage. What was your favorite part about today, guys? The drive. Okay. That's a beautiful drive. The drive and we got to check out some awesome cars. Yeah. Oh yeah, those cars were awesome. Just yeah. everything in Those cars were awesome. Cool. So Eric, this was your first time doing an estate sale, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stanley's been down this road before, but it's been a while, so it was fun to get out of the yeah, shop, it wasn't was. it? Yeah, it sure was. We saw some pronghorn antelope along the way back. Beautiful animals that are um, apparently as old as woolly mammoths and things. And they're still roaming around our plains out here in Colorado. Yeah, we would have taken video, but we were barreling down the highway. So uh, thank you for joining us today. You will see everything. We're going to be doing a big presentation, a big a big thing. And, and we're going to have a lot of fun with these in the future in our video. So we appreciate you. Love you. Bye.